One of the things I like best about coming to SEMA is that I get to connect with people that I don't necessarily get to see a whole lot during the rest of the year. Don here is a good friend of mine, and I want to talk to you about Pertronics' line of carb-legal, emissions-legal exhaust products. That's kind of unique. It is. It's, we're kind of a leader in that market segment. Our JBA brand is uh, where we do most of our late model car stuff. And both CARB and EPA have been getting more and more strict on exhaust products being legal, not affecting emissions, while still improving performance. So we put a lot of effort into that, and, and we're kind of the leader in the industry in that. You know, it's not a simple task to build exhaust components that make power, that are durable, that fit right, but then you put on top of that the extra effort it takes to make sure that they're clean, and you're talking a whole new level. It, it's a very difficult deal. Trying to find all those parameters to fit together, you're, you're restricted by where the catalytic converter fits, and you cannot move that within that. So building a header that will work with that becomes a very difficult task. It, it really puts our R&D team to, to work to uh, develop that sort of thing. And even once you've got something that works, something that makes power, something that's going to be clean, then you have to prove it, right? Exactly. That becomes the next part of it. We have to go to a CARB certified lab where they do extensive testing. And, and the amazing part that people don't realize when you go take your car for a smog test, that's not the, the same level of testing that the manufacturer had to do when they built that car. Well, we have to test a car that has at least 3,000 miles on it, which means it's degraded already somewhat, but we have to test back to that OE standard of when that car was brand new. And that's a very difficult thing to do. So give me an idea of what kind of applications the JBA line covers. It's all late model uh, American cars as a general rule, along with both American and imported trucks. So we'll do Mustangs, Challengers, Camaros, Dodge Chargers, those sort of vehicles, along with Dodge, Ford, Chevy trucks, Toyota trucks, and Nissan trucks. So you're covering a really broad range of what's popular today. Exactly, and, and mostly in the V8 segment, some V6 stuff, but the performance, the kind of hot rods of today, including the hot rod trucks, and we, like I say, we kind of lead that segment. We have EOs right now on 2017 models that are just now being released. We've already built and approved and, and gotten those into production. That's amazing. That was going to be my next question is, how long does it take to get something like this through the system, get it approved, get it into production? But it seems like you're, you've got product for cars that haven't even really hit the streets yet. That, that's true. And, and we've been working this uh, last year or two now with SEMA, who opened up their own lab. They bought out the AAA lab. And they've been very responsive to us. Because we're kind of the leader in this segment, we've been a test case with them. Uh, they've been very responsive to working with us and turning things around much more timely. It used to not be uncommon at all that you would build a product, start your test. By the time you actually got your car BO, six, eight, nine months, a year might even pass. We're down to now being able to turn those, once we have the product developed, in as little as 30 to 45 days because of our involvement with SEMA on that. So where can people go to find out more information about all these parts that we've had a look at today? They can go direct to our website, which is jbaheaders.com. All the information is there. They can also find it on all the major distributors and, and resellers of the product, like Summit, Jags, those type of companies. They all have that EO information available as well. All right, see, there's no excuse for riding dirty. For Power Auto Media, I'm Paul Husinga. Keep it here. We've got a bunch more SEMA stuff to come.